Well, probably like everybody in this country, I'm still obsessed with that whole Charlottesville thing with the Klan uh, um, and the Nazis. Here are your Nazis, nice little Nazis. Uh, and here's some nice little Klan people, KKK, white something or other, where they all gathered uh, to protest having the um, statues taken down or whatever. Uh, I printed up a whole bunch of pictures uh, from my computer and um, some of the stuff that I really like. Okay, here is, here's a really fabulous picture. Now, take a look at these guys. Take a look. At the, these are the militia guys. And if you notice, these guys, they're all a bunch of chunky monkeys. You know, they're dressed like little military guys. But, you know, if they were in the military, you know those military guys, they, they jump out of the helicopter and they land with those boots on and they run carrying full backpacks. Well, these guys, I mean, they couldn't even run to, you know, Burger King without dropping dead of a heart attack. And look at all of their gear. They are so overloaded with gear. The one in the middle has his gun hanging right down where his tiny little wee-wee would be. Um, this picture just is this is probably one of the best now look at this okay so over here well you have this young black man confronting this old white man but look at them could this be any more of a completely terrifying situation for both of them he is to me he is the epitome of the fat fuck Nazi fuckhead, dumb as a box of rocks. Look at his wife. Here she is cringing and hanging on to her husband's arm. She has a little swastika on her chest because they are confronting Satan. This is Satan. Look at his muscles. I mean, he is such a gym rat. He, you can't get any blacker than this guy. He has little pointy hair. He is so fucking angry. He is angry black man. He is angry white man. This could be, this should be the poster that just sums up the whole thing. But why another one? Oh my God. Okay. This guy, we all know this guy. Now, he has become famous. <laughs> He's so mad. He's so mad. And I don't know what he's mad about. And look at the guy next to him. They're so mad. I mean, he is young. He's white. He's not terrible looking. I don't know. What are you so mad about? Maybe he's mad because right in back of him over here is a Freddie Mercury look-alike. And isn't Freddie Mercury gay? But there they are with their little tiki torches, pissed off as all get up. Now, the best, though. The best. Save the best for last. They love a costume. They love a costume. Look at these costumes. If you look, say, this one here and this one here, they look like that cheesy garbage bag kind of stuff. They look like they're almost plastic. And this guy in the middle, I mean, he's got shorts on underneath. Like, what the fuck is he wearing? Look, he's got the sneakers and the little legs. He's white. He's ugly. He's got a mustache. It looks like they got these costumes in, like, Party City, you know, on the rack, you know, right next to, like, Sexy Nurse. It's like doofy clan. I don't know. What are they wearing? I mean, you know, it's not like they're wearing something that makes them look scary and dignified. It just looks like a really, really bad children's Halloween parade gone wrong. Um, but there they are. And here's their fearless leader. This is Richard Spencer. And he is the leader of the big alt-right. And again, like, he is a nice-looking young man. His mother was um, an heiress from a cotton plantation. So I don't know why they hate black people, because, like, the black people worked on the plantation. It got very prosperous. He just inherited a shit wad of money. He's educated. Like, what's he so mad about? I don't know. I don't know what they're so mad about. But here is the dog. <laughs>